Hey, how you doing? Of course, you all know who I am, Brent, and welcome to Brent's World. Well, today they just uh, extended our quarantine up till the end of April, April 30th. I kind of figured they would do that. I didn't think it would, you know. And I'm pretty sure when April 30th comes around, they'll extend it out, they'll extend it out. What they're saying now is that uh, they're waiting for us to peak. And, but what's that number? I mean, who, who has that number of when we'll be peaked as far as people coming down with the, with the virus? Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I just it, uh, this is getting crazy. Just sitting around the house. Now they be pretty much, uh, it was kind of a uh, relaxed quarantine at first. Me and Miles could go to the store. There's no problem. But now it's no. Uh, it's, we can only either me or Miles can go, and we have to have a pass, a hall pass, I call it. And if you ain't got that hall pass, you're gonna turn around and walk back home. They ain't, they're not gonna let you go anywhere. But you know that's just the way it is. I think the only the only place we can go is inside our yard. Well, our yard is it's, it's gated off. Every, mostly everybody here has gated it, gated in or fenced in. I'm so sorry, fenced in property. So you stay inside of the fence. They don't say nothing to you. Uh, but other than that, there's really nothing going on. It's been kind of honestly boring, just sitting around. I've been going down to YouTube and uh, Netflix rabbit hole. Been watching. Uh, I don't know if you all remember Sons, Sons of Anarchy. Been watching that. It still bothers me that the way Jack went out at the, the, the end of the show. It was like, really? Come on now. But it is what it is. And Miles is really enjoying it. This is the first time she ever seen it. So, uh, yeah, she's liking it. And also watching a lot of YouTubes. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. And it's kind of irritating me. I'm, You know, it just irritates me. These guys that get on that are living in the Philippines post on YouTube where, oh, I'm out and about, I'm driving around. Well, I was watching, two days ago, I was watching a video while this guy wasn't a very good editor because he was driving and he passed a bank sign and it had the date, the te what, oh, temperature, and also the time. Well, the date on there was Two and a, two and a half weeks ago, but he said it was today. So you know, it's it's all people don't need to be doing that. It's just irritating other people that are locked, they can't go anywhere, and they're you know sitting inside their homes or sitting outside inside <laughs> inside the, on their yard, you know. And they got this guy driving around in a moped saying, "Oh, I'm going out every day." That ain't true. That ain't true at all. They're pretty. They're getting really strict. Uh, the only reason I really know they're enforcing it, as I said before, usually Mondays we go to, me and Miles go to the market. Well, we got all dressed and ready to go, and we, we walk. It's only like a five minute walk, plus I can use the exercise, right? And uh, we started walking, and we got to the checkpoint, and the, the guy checking it put out his hand and says, passes. Well, Miles handed him, handed him the pass. We didn't know. And he looks at me and says, where's your pass? And I said, uh, right there. And he says, no. Here is uh, one per household. One person I can go out at a time. I was like, all right. And I'm not going to argue with the guy. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, why, why? But uh, I turned around and I walked back home. No big deal. Miles came back in about an hour, hour later and she said that the... Uh, market was there was really nobody in there but now they also for the market they're basically saying that if you don't live in this town or you don't live in a surrounding area we don't want you here go go to go to where because every town has a different day where the the vendors are there and uh what they do is if they know Mondays, that's when the vendors are going to have a full stock items, they'll come here. And that's why it always gets so packed. But basically, they told them, nope, 
hey, you ain't got a pass for this town or the surrounding areas, you're not coming here. I mean, those people drive like an hour to get here. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't do that. But some of them do. They drive or they get a bus. But they can't get buses because buses are basically shut down. And also the uh, tricycles, the ones with the motorcycles with side cart, you can only drive, have one passenger, that's it. No more. And, uh, and if you're not sanctioned by the city or the town, in other words, if you don't have a license, if you're from another town, don't come here thinking you're going you're gonna to run your tricycle in the town because they're going to tell you to leave because every tricycle has a license serial number in the back and the first number coincides with the town you're from. So a lot of what they used to do, of course, they'll come here Monday because they know that everybody and their brothers are going to the market here and they make their money. And what they do is they either nine towns out of ten, they'll drive somebody from another town to here and they'll wait for them. And then I was driving back. And I mean, it's, I don't know how many pesos are charging them. No, I, I'm, I really don't care. It's not my concern. But uh, that's how they're doing it. They're, they're getting pretty strict. And like I said before, they extended the, uh, extended it until the 30th of April. I think it's like noon or something like that. I'm not sure. I ain't going nowhere. But I still got a paint, paint a room. I've been putting it off. I got some of it done. I already put a coat of primer. But it just, it gets really hot in there, and it's like, woo, and I gotta stop. And I, I don't know, I maybe mean, I need to get off my butt and get that done. I wanna paint the whole, I just don't like the color of the house. It's like a uh, dirty, dirty white. You know what it reminds me of? Walking into a room where a heavy smoker usually is. You know, that color of the walls, that's how it looks. I don't know if the person smoked in here before me or not, I really don't know. I don't think they did, they shouldn't have, but anyway. Uh, nothing else is going on. Hope everybody's doing fine. And uh, I'm sorry for the no content, but there's there's nothing going on. There's really nothing to talk about. And if you want to in your comments, go ahead and, you know, if you want to ask me some questions, that'd be great, because give me something to talk about. I like getting on here every day, it just gives me something to do, but you ain't got nothing to say, you ain't got nothing to say, <laughs> you know? So, uh, Y'all have a good day, and uh, thank you for watching, and uh, take care, and stay healthy. Bye.